Christina from Creations with Christina and I have a brand new machine. I'm really excited about this. Um, it's the Cricut Explorer. So today's video is just going to be an unboxing and then I'll do some more videos in the future. But before I get into unboxing, just want to give a quick thank you to everybody who took my survey. You guys helped me tremendously about almost 500. Um, it might be 500 now, but when I posted uh, the information on my blog, it was about 497. Um, I have the results to that if you guys want to check it out. It's over on my blog. I'll put a link below in the uh, description of this video. Um, things I've learned, uh, I was pretty happy because over the past two weeks I've been thinking about how I want to kind of go back to doing some Cricut stuff. And I was um, investigating the Cricut Explorer. I've been in touch with Joy from Obsessed with Scrapbooking and, and asked her some questions because I know she has one. And uh, she helped me out tremendously, so thank you, Joy. And... Um, I uh, decided just to go for it, especially after I saw the results of the survey. I uh, So many of you still use the Cricut, and I know, um, it, oh, probably about two or three years ago, I kind of stopped using the Cricut. I got the Cameo, and I was using that, not a lot, but I was using it. Um, so, but a lot of you still like to use your electronic die cutting machines, and a lot of you um, like stamping videos. And because I really wanted to kind of get back into... Um, using my Cricut. I have all of my cartridges and, and stuff like that and I really wanted to start uh, playing with these things again. It was kind of the push I needed to get those things and try this out, especially like I said, I I got in touch with Joy and I've been online and I've watched videos and um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited about this. And uh, like I said, the post to uh, the link or the post to the survey will be linked below with the results so you guys can check it out. But so what I decided to do just before I get into this, um, I decided to do a uh, kind of go back to how I used to do things. I used to have one day a week I would post a video on die cutting, whether it be a project or a tutorial on how to do something. And then uh, one day a week I would do a stamping video. So I am going to get back into that. Um, I really want to get back into playing with my uh, supplies and the things I have. So let's go ahead and get started with this, the unboxing. Um, stay tuned for more videos with tutorials on how to use this. So let's go ahead and open it up. I um, may have to go off screen a little bit on this because of uh, the angle I have the camera, but we'll try. I'll try my best to stay um, in screen. So, so this is the Cricut Explorer. It's an electronic die cut machine that works with an online uh, design program. Um, Lots of great accessories for this, but they do also have a subscription where it's um, you can either buy single images for ninety nine cents or nine ninety nine a month, where you can um, buy images for your machine. They have lots of accessories for this. Um, they have uh, toolkits. They have a scoring blade, a scoring tool. They have pens, um, and from what I understand, a print and cut feature is uh, coming soon to go with this. Um, it does cut SVG files and other different types of files too. So. So anyway, that was just kind of a quick <laughs> rundown of it. But let's go ahead and open this. I'm, like I said, super excited about this. Packaged beautifully. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I did not realize it came with a carry case. Um, on occasion, I do do a uh, craft class or so um, at our, our library. We have programs called Maker Mondays, and we do classes where, you know, you learn to come in and do something. I have one coming up, um, actually. I have two of them coming up. So... So anyway, I like that it comes with a carry case. If I ever decide to do a little something at work for Cricut, I can do that. Um, it comes with a cutting mat. My cutting mat got a little warped because of the way it was in the box, but if you just leave it out, it'll flatten out. Um, it has a start here guide, and it also has a little project materials uh, kit. So it comes with stuff like cardstock, iron-on transfer. This will cut duct tape. From what I understand, you can also cut material, vinyl, um, this is the iron-on transfer, and it can also cut uh, felt and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about trying that out. So when we have our start here guide, um, also has a little box that's got all of our attachments and stuff in it. So it has our AC adapter, our wire, our um, USB adapter. Uh, even comes with a one of the pens. This is what is this? It doesn't say what color, but it looks like it's a metallic color. So, so I just picked up the basic box. I got it on sale um, at Michael's. So let's go ahead and open up our Cricut machine here. 
So there we go, that's our Cricut. It has um, all of your dials over on the side here. So those are all your dials. It has a little compartment here for putting your tools. It has a section right here for your cartridges. And if you just hit the open button. All right, so I went ahead and opened it up. It's got great little compartments here. Sections for storing your tools. So it has this little section right here. You can put your blades in it. It has a little sample thing and there's a magnetic piece inside that'll hold your blades as well if you have just the blades itself. And then over here is where you can put your, your cutting tools, like your scissors and stylus and um, scraper. It has two different compartments. Compartment B, which is this one right here, is where your blade is. This is where you'll put your deep cut blade, your stylus blade, and your regular blade. And then the A is where you'll put your stylus tool and your pens. So really great little, uh, uh, the way it's set up, I re I'm really uh, liking this. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this up. Um, that's pretty much it for this. I'm going to get into more detail on how to use the, or setting it up in my next video. But first I just want to show you a couple of the accessories that I bought to go with it. Um, I bought the scraper and spatula. So I didn't do uh, anything more than just this because they have scissors and stuff like that, but I've got all those kind of tools, so I didn't buy that. I did buy the stylus tool. I wanted to get the scoring blade, but that was uh, currently sold out. I also picked up a package of extra mats. And then, and what I, from what I understand, now it's been a long time since I've worked with the mats. These are, I never had this style mat before with the pattern on it, but I understand this, um, the grip on this and the way it's, um, the adhesive on it isn't as strong, but much better than the older older mats. And then the last thing I bought was the wireless Bluetooth adapter. And I got this because I knew that I was not going to be able to have this right next to my computer because I don't have the space on my craft area. But at least then I can have it somewhere in my craft room and I could do the die cutting with this. Now, I have seen it for a couple different prices. I saw it for $49.99, which is at, was at Michael's. But I ran into AC Moore just to see what kind of accessories they have. And they had this adapter for $39.99. So, and I do believe somebody recently just had 30% off all Cricut, but I don't know if Cricut accessories, but I don't know if this is considered an accessory or not. So, so anyway, that is my Cricut Explorer. I am very much looking forward to doing more videos and tutorials and um, a new adventure here on my blog. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.